Welcome to the screencast. I'm going to talk to you today about what it means to write the background for an argument paper. And we need to start here. This is the student peer evaluation sheet and you'll notice that it's got just kind of standard stuff like you put your name here. We'll use this in class when you turn it in on Wednesday. Or maybe not, I'm not sure yet. Then you've got to make sure that your MLA format is correct. So you'd put five points there if you got it right. Work cited page if you think you got it right, five points. And remember, you have three to five sources. Okay, and you got a title. And then you've got these things called background paragraphs. And that's the first thing I want to talk about in the second, in the second screencast. Uh, we'll also talk about supporting paragraphs on <clears throat> Monday and what a naysayer or a counter argument is. And then, of course, you know, we get the good old summary conclusion and the so what conclusion, which is a little different. Okay, on to background paragraphs. 